Hello guys, I'm Sean the Bro, and we're back again, this time with a Destiny Taken King DLC Easter Egg to get you a special rare emblem. So, it's been a while uh, with school and work and everything. It's hard for me to get some videos, some Let's Plays up there, so I'm actually going to be doing some more walkthroughs like I used to do more often. Anyway, so here's the first. We're getting you the emblem Silent Scream in Destiny Taken King DLC, as I said. So... Uh, the only part that you don't see in this video that has to happen is you have to go to the mausoleum area, which is where I am right now. Literally, all you do is go and patrol the Dreadnought. It's the uh, ship that you get with Taken King DLC. And go straight into the big opening in the ship. Uh, do not go right to the Court of Oryx area, but go straight into the big gap, as I said. And that will lead you straight there without any problems. Oh, you'll get the mausoleum. Wrap around the pole like you saw me do and take the right into there. And then you'll go to a place called Dantalian Exodus 6 right about now. There you go. Um, as long as you follow those hallways. So that's not nothing too complicated. My cat is meowing like crazy. Uh, don't worry about that. She's just in heat. <laughs> so here we go. Now follow this ramp up to the right. And then we'll bring you to like a Marathon du Rondel looking font over here. I'm not sure if that's actually the Easter egg if, or, you know, if that's actually part of it or if it just looks like that and it's a coincidence. But all you have to do is deploy your ghost as an option. Um, and I sh probably should have shown you. Uh, there's one on the other side. You have to have two people to do this. And they have to be within three seconds of each other, I believe, is the time period. It's real short like that. Uh, so you have a buddy do it or some random person and tell them when you're going to do it. Um, and then if you do it right, these certain doors will open, which I will show you in a second. So just deploy your ghost there. See, he is on the exact opposite side. You can I accidentally go into this little indent here because I think that's an opening, but it's not. Uh, he's on the exact opposite corner. There's one in a room over there as well. And then these doors over here against the back wall open up and then you're gonna follow this path there's only one way to go i mean there's sometimes two ways to go but there's only one way to go that'll actually make you give you progress the rest just lead you to dead ends so just uh just follow this path no problem there's gonna be a couple of enemies here but nothing we can't handle i was only level 39 at the time not only because there's only 40 levels, but I mean only as in I'm not like a high level light or anything. I'm just level 39. Just got there. Uh, kill the straw. And you will come to this boss. It's literally just giant knight, but he's awesome. Um, he's not a very difficult boss. He's got a decent amount of health, but he dies pretty quickly. And as soon as you do that, he's going to pop out a couple of engrams, as well as the silent screen rare emblem for yourself. So I will show that to you right now. Go down to the emblems, and you got a rare silent screen guy right here. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed or if I helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Michael Lindsay, in some kind of order. Uh, you're watching Sean the Bro. You know, you know it's legit because he has a shirt and he has a phone case. You can't show yeah. the phone case because he's recording with it. I don't him, have a phone case. But he's, no. I got a, you should get one though. In fact, Sean is my bro. It doesn't say Sean the Bro though, which is no, black. It Loser. Check out Sean the Bro. Yeah. Or you're a bitch. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you're a bitch. Thank you guys so much.